EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for the weekend, January 28th and 29th, 2023. It is Saturday, and the Saturday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Bozer Guys Brewing Company. They are located at 1250 Simon Boulevard in Easton, Pennsylvania, very close to Lafayette College. They are purveyors of fine craft beer in the Lehigh Valley with a vast beer selection from IPAs to ales to stouts and sours. They also have a fantastic menu selection, live entertainment, open mic nights, and trivia nights, and are open five days a week between Wednesday and Sunday. They are Bozer Geist Brewing Company in Easton, proud sponsors of the weekend video forecast. So today, and actually for the next several days, don't expect to see much sun. You're going to see peaks of sun here and there over the course of the next, say, five days or so, but uh, not a lot of sun. I know a lot of people are kind of uh, discouraged by the lack of sunshine lately, and uh, that's going to continue here for at least the next five days through midweek. Uh, might even be six, but we'll see. Uh, but here is the uh, look at today, and the reason why we're going to turn warmer this weekend is because of this big high pressure sending off the southeastern U.S. coastline is going to get a return flow of warmer air into our region so we're going to start off westerly today with the winds and it'll turn southwesterly overnight and again on sunday it's going to get the temperatures up well into the 40s if not 50s in our southeastern areas on both occasions both saturday and sunday partly to mostly cloudy skies today favoring the interior for more clouds than southeast areas and the same thing holds for tonight and then sunday also mostly cloudy to start and then becoming overcast with a cold front moving through the region very weak front is going to move through the region, and there could be, it could touch off uh, just a few very light spits or showers. Not a real, this is not a real big deal. This is very, very light on the scale down here, the lightest there, there is, in fact. And this is uh, going into Sunday afternoon, kind of like mid, uh, during, during the course of the afternoon, basically. So let's go over the NAM high res future simulated radar, simulated radar, show this off at noon, and you can see some of these spits right here. Now, the, uh, NFC Championship game this weekend, of course, is in South Philadelphia, which is right here, right where that dot is. And uh, there is going to be a, a risk for a spotty shower during the course of the game, okay? Uh, not a big deal here. You see there's little couple spits, and this is looking at 3 o'clock right when the game would start. Uh, but it would be very quick in and out type thing if it happened. And it's uh, if I move this all the way through, I just do this as a total precipitation for that entire period for all of Sunday. This is all you get. And you got one one hundredth of an inch, so it's barely, uh, not even enough to really wet the ground there. So uh, it's not really concerned for the game. I don't think there's going to be any issues with that, uh, with that amount of rainfall, if there is even that much, because you see a lot of uh, spotty stuff in here where it's not doing anything at all. So it's not, not it shouldn't be a big deal here for the NSV Championship game here on uh, on Sunday here in South Philadelphia. Okay, so that uh, we were looking at that all week just to see what it would do doesn't look like very much okay uh, once this cold front moves through again it's a weak front there's gonna be a reinforcing front that comes through on Monday after this system to our south passes by and you will have some colder air starting to come in here on uh, the 31st the final day of the month which of course is Tuesday uh, I'm sorry yeah Tuesday <laughs> I'm losing, losing track of days here so on Tuesday you'll have uh, have this secondary front move through uh, could be a few uh, rain or snow showers with that as it moves through too we left an isolated chance for a shower here on monday as well for that so then once we get beyond this point uh we're going to watch this uh boundary that we talked about this is the baroclinic boundary here and wherever this boundary sets up is where this low pressure is going to track now the uh i don't want to get anybody excited like this is going to be a big event because it's not it's a very weak strung out low pressure system that could produce some snow showers on the northern extent of this, this is not going to be a big overrunning storm uh but there is the opportunity here that when we get into uh, well, we think it's Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, but uh, like most guidance is suggesting, but the European, models, European model here is actually focusing on uh, Wednesday night and a Thursday morning. So it's bringing up, it's, it's focusing on a different wave entirely. So the models are a mess with us right now. Some of the ensembles are very enthused with uh, some, you know, some minor snow across the region here. And again, it's focusing on that th uh, Tuesday night and a Wednesday morning time frame, which is what our local forecasts on the website are structured to show. Okay, but... Uh, you know, if it focuses on the second wave instead, along riding this boundary here that's off to our south, you could have uh, some snow on the northern side of that, maybe a wintry mix in the middle. Uh, but that's what the European model is trying to show today. And then you get some really cold temperatures coming in here for the end of the next week where temperatures are going to be uh, struggling to get above freezing in most areas, okay? It probably will not get above freezing in most areas 
uh, at least in the interior, by the time we get to Friday. But we will see sun, we think, at the end of the week, finally. But it's going to take a while until we get there. Uh, there are different depictions of this uh, wave here, and this is uh, looking at the GFS that ran this evening and has this weak, very weak wave uh, off to our south. And it's actually snowing across uh, the southern mid-Atlantic here at this point. So, again, the models don't really have an idea of what's going to happen with this, but I don't expect it to be a big storm anyway. So I really don't want to micromanage it considering today's only Saturday and we have uh, several days to look at it. We'll look at it again on Monday. I actually have a look at this on the uh, Weather Weekly's video that I do this Sunday. And uh, I'm not uh, really that enthused with that, even though it's going to be colder for the first week of February. I'm not really enthused with any big storm threats in that time frame. So it might be another wasted cold air opportunity coming in before the Southeast Ridge kicks in in week two and we start turning warmer again. And uh, for you snow lovers out there, this is not looking good for, for this winter as a whole. And I'm not throwing the towel in here yet because I don't do that because as soon as I do that, it's gonna something's going to pop up. Uh, so maybe some of you that are snow lovers want me to jinx it. That's fine. Uh, but uh, I just won't throw in the towel just yet until we get further into February. And I can see what's going on in that five to, our comfortable five to six week lead time. I do think it turns colder in the beginning of March, but, uh, you know, at that, that, that time you're dealing with other issues like sun angle and it, it snows and it doesn't stick or yeah, that kind of thing. So we'll see. Uh, this is uh, not looking like it's going to be a good winter overall, and I don't think there's going to be anything that comes in that's going to save winter, so to speak, for this month at least. But uh, we'll wait until we get further into February before we start throwing the towel in, but it's not looking good, admittedly. And I'll discuss that a little bit more here on Sunday with the Weather Weekly's video. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for the weekend, January 28th and 29th, 2023. Have a great Saturday and Sunday, and go birds.